Hopefully we could learn more information that complicates that picture, so we'll see. But that's the vibe I'm, I'm getting so far. So it, it, actually, it, from the him perspective, it, it makes I mean, this describes many potential mass shooter type people, assassin type people often fall into this category of, you know, loner, weirdo, bullied, et cetera. I do think the United States is Not ideologue. A, a violent society. Oh, I, I don't sure. think that's a new or recent thing. But this is a, mm -hmm. a, a country founded on violence. And even the rhetoric uh -oh. the country is founded on violence. No, uh -oh. that's not true. Um, we uh -oh. go abroad and, and take over nations we disagree with a little bit politically. Our oh, politics no. are our violence always. The politics rhetoric is around the that can be our yes. Is it's there is there a peaceful evidence. politics? Is it philosophy? No, it's the exercise oh, reach of force. The governments have a monopoly on the logic. Yeah, that's she, a crazy she, ass she, reach, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. She, she uh, man, man, I was sending this broad to Saudi Arabia, man. If, listen, if you, bladder women are the most ungrateful people on the planet, see, son sisters like they ain't got shit. Like you know what I'm saying, like we ain't made nothing for them. This <laughs> this society that the fucking bladder men the make for you, bladder yeah. women, y'all ungrateful as shit, man. Look at her shitting on glider men society they created for her. A, a violent society? I don't think that's a new or recent thing. But this is a, mm -hmm. a, a country founded on violence. And even the rhetoric. Well, every country is founded on violence. Nah, that's not true. Um, we go abroad and, and take over nations we disagree with a little bit politically. Our politics are right. our, our violence you see how always. She's like, the rhetoric is around. You see how she's, 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 uh, She's emphasizing the glider men uh, conquering nations. And she, she wants to emphasize how bad that is. But when the glider man next to her is like, I mean, who the fuck hasn't done that? Like, who who doesn't and that violence to 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 get what they want politically, like throughout history? She's like, oh well, you know, uh, that's not really true. You know, everybody else. They just fucking sang Kumbaya and fucking lit up a, a bowl and then they figured it out. It's like, no, nah, bitch, this is the, the, this, this is how humanity works, bro. Yeah. You got, yeah. You got, around. You that got, can be our like, no Is there, is there so, a peaceful send politics? Send it's a philosophy. No, it's the exercise. Yes, and send it to a pack of uh, Always the demons. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is this is nasty, man. What she's doing here, man. She's ungrateful to, assholes, right? Yeah, yeah. she's ungrateful as shit, bitch. You, you, they, they do less violence because think about the last time the United her country was attacked from an outside invader. It was like twenty, what twenty, twenty three years ago now. You, you, your country hasn't been attacked in twenty three years, and before then, it was what. Pearl Harbor it was like 55 years. So two attacks and no, 55. more than that. No, more than that. It was like 60, 60, 61 years. Yeah, 61 years. Yeah, two attacks in, in 80 years. And, and, and both of them was like planes. They flew planes into the shit. No boots on the ground type shit. Like. Yeah, nothing. And, bitch, are you crazy? That violence keeps you from having a like. I think about the in Gaza, right? A woman in Gaza, like her part, her whole apartment building might be rubble right now, because yes, they did what they did, and the violence came back to them because they can't stop it. They can't do nothing with the people that they beefing with. White man keep do do his shit and he keeps it away from his white princess, man, and everybody else who lives around his white princess. We benefit from being around these white people. Yeah, it's hurt. Not true. Um we go abroad and, and take over nations we disagree with a little bit politically. Our politics are our violence always. The rhetoric around that can 
be argued, yes. Is there, is there a peaceful politics? Is it philosophy? No, it's the exercise of force. The governments have a monopoly on the legitimate use of force. Governments everywhere are violent. Um, to, to, have a, to assert that this is a nation and the people under it are under the purview of the governing, the ruling forces is inherently a violent, like illegitimate violence is bad, but violence obviously can be used for and anarchy purposes, is peace, including Robbie, in, very mechanical. I mean, I'm kind of an anarchist libertarian, oh. so it sounds fine to me, but, wow. but there's nothing, I would say there's nothing special about America in terms of the, in terms of violence as a founding, I, right, we, we rebelled that. against the British, is that what you mean by it has violent origins? I mean, again, that's true of... I mean, it's, it's every, founded on stolen land and genocide and slavery. Is every, what oh, my the God, bro. I'm tired of it. Yo. Put Yo, a cock in his man, mouth. Bro, the, nice, the, the white man yeah, came yeah. here and made this shit better, man. Like, slave, and slavery was the best thing that ever happened to black people. Telling you, man, slavery stopped human sacrifices. All those slaves, them slaves got to live. Even though they lived a, a brutal life, they'd have been dead because the king wanted to send a message to his dead relatives and shit. They always legitimate violence is bad. Try to emphasize slavery and, and colonization, bro. That's just right. Oh, yeah. oh, these savage, these, these people were, 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 listen, everywhere you look, even in Europe, there were savages. It took the civilized Europeans to civilize the savage Europeans. And the people under it are under the purview of the governing, the ruling forces is inherently a violent, like illegitimate violence is bad, but violence obviously can be used for and anarchy purposes, is peace, including Robbie. in. Very mechanical. I mean, I'm kind of an anarchist libertarian, oh. so it sounds fine to me. But wow, but there's nothing. I would say there's nothing special about America in terms of the. Right there, man. He just he just lost his chance to smash. You know yeah. he was trying to crack that, but yeah, it was, hurt. <laughs> he, he just lost out, man. In terms of violence as a founding, I right. But here's the thing: if he if 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 he stands on it and he because women like kind of like assholes and challenges and shit they like that type of stuff if he buckle he ain't fucked it. but if he stand on it even if she get mad even if she throw a hissy fit if he stand on it like yeah bitch fuck this shit nah bitch you got the shit all wrong he can still smile uh, that's we, we rebelled that's against that. The British, is that what you mean by it has violent origins? I mean, again, that's true of... I mean, it's it's every, founded on stolen land and genocide and slavery. Is every, what built every the stolen land, stolen land, man, on, yeah. stolen land. No, people who are native to that like, land, Robbie. Anyway, I don't want to get into oh, this. No, 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 people who are Like, the stolen land shit is crazy, bro. Like, it's called fucking, like, taking over territory, bro. This, that's like... Human history 101. Why the fuck is it so bad when the white man does the same shit everybody else does, bro? My people, natives, were the natives fought fight. each other constantly. They went to war with each other constantly. It was not, it is totally false that this was some idyllic, peaceful state of nature. They like didn't hippie. put all of their productive capacity towards they creating weapons like people. We people. They, did you see what the Aztecs they did? This was a violent, that came to this, the U.S. No, okay. they scalped each other. This was a violent continent filled with savage, violent people that was then conquered whoa. by people who were also Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yo, we gotta. We might have a real one up here, man. Why? Why you gotta bring up the Aztecs, though? He he happy. He happy. He can talk freely because he ain't got yeah. that black girl up there. That yeah. black girl was up there. He wouldn't be. Yeah, able to nah, kid. It. Yo, I I'm telling you right now. I guarantee you that night he found out. He went out to the bar. <laughs> He shut the bar. He closed the bar down. Man. Yeah, I'm hangover, telling you, man. The hangover must have been a motherfucker. Bro, that had to come to look, work with that bitch every day. Oh, my God. Yeah, that dark then, bitch, wanna... then they replace it with her. Oh, my God. Oh, you know, you know he was getting fucked up. Yeah, that dark boy would have tried to get him uh, for this I shit. Mean, like, she would have tried to get him fired, bro. Yeah, I guarantee. Oh, yeah. I guarantee. She would have She would have acted like she would have been God, yeah, man. bro. Like, you can take that back. You still have you still have time to take that back now. Right. Like that's she would have been like, thing. 
She was more like, what do you what do you mean slavery? Everybody did slavery. What? Are you saying that uh, slavery wasn't bad for black people? Nah, once he would have said savages, yeah, he to on a black woman would have been on the set. Oh my god, that would have been a wrap. (laughs) He wouldn't have done that though, because you you seen it before. I've done it. Nah, I never seen him buck up. Yeah, he ain't buck up on that black girl. Yeah, that's he he knew his (laughs) way. That's why that's why I kind of don't fuck with him like that. (laughs) Where was this where was this energy when when you was face to face with the dark butt dynasty, bro? You ain't had this energy. But you can't blame was, him, bro. But you look, he's the last man standing, though. Look, he 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 um he made the business decision. He I played guess, chess, bro. He, he he waited it out. She said some slick shit about the juice crew, and she <laughs> won in long run. You know, what I'm saying? yeah. And he yeah, man, he won. Now he got. Bro. Now he got. Now he got this motherfucking this yeah. goddess. Bro, Next this is chess. He's chilling now, bro. This is chess, bro, not checkers. Bro. She's, still annoying. She's still annoying, but she ain't a dark book, bro. That's a nice. different oh, level of life. Smash. You can say some shit to her and not get... Um, yeah, not get that's fired, it. Man. She, she ain't the most protect. She ain't the least protected. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different level of uh, uh, civility and, and... Yeah, bro. Yeah, man. So yeah, but salute to this guy. But let's- violence as a founding, I, right? We we rebelled against the British. Is that what you mean by it has violent origins? I mean, again, that's true of. I mean, it's it's every, founded on stolen land and genocide and slavery. Every, what built every the capital? Every place is stolen on is founded on stolen land. Not is, people who are native always... to that land, Robbie. Anyway, I don't want to get into. Oh, the oh my God. Natives, the natives fought each other. Constantly, they went to war with each other. Constantly, it was not. It is totally false that this was some idyllic, peaceful state of nature. They like didn't hippie. put all of their productive capacity towards they creating weapons like people. we did. They people. They did. You see what the Aztecs they did? This was a violent. That came to the this, U.S. No, okay. they scalped each other. This was a violent continent filled with savage, violent people that was then conquered by people who were also violent and savage. I'm not saying we're better than them, but we're certainly no worse. I mean, when, when the Spanish came over, they allied. They allied with native populations in various areas who hated the Aztecs because the Aztecs had butchered them by the thousands. So it's, it's not, it, it is just not the case that this was a peaceful uh, land that w- and that peace was, you know, off business, though. Okay. violence and warfare is, is, it ha- is not unique to our experience is the part of every civilization in every part of the world since the oh. dawn of human history. Oh. What I was going on Go to ahead. say is that following... Damn, she said she tried to play him with the little slick shit. ...part of the world since the dawn of human history. I'm glad you got that out. What I was going on Go to ahead. say is that following all of this and the conversation around unity and... Listen, that man. That he's good by him. Yeah, he stood, he, stood, he stood on it. Salute to him for standing on it because... Um, speaking of the Aztecs, man, I just found some stuff about the Aztecs, man. Um, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me show you something about the Aztecs, man. Um, the Aztecs. Yeah, she's still an asshole, bro. So I'm glad you got that out, you know. Like, bitch. The Aztec rise to ascendancy over other peoples and to technological and cultural ascendancy was accompanied by the development of an increasingly hierarchical society internally. The ruler's disposition of huge amounts of tribute pouring in from the subject peoples enhanced his power over his own people, to whom this tribute was distributed as largesse. Eventually, the ruler's role developed to such godlike dimensions that merely to look him directly in the eye was an offense punishable by death. The royal succession was not hereditary, but noble leaders chose each new ruler from among the royal princes, on the basis of perceived fitness for the role. These noble classes, including priests, were set apart from the masses by laws which restricted the wearing of cotton clothing and jewels, as well as the eating of particular sumptuous foods and the drinking of cocoa, to this class, with violations of these taboos. Remember I told you how, like, if... if, if White people like they 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 if 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 black people and, and, and native people had internet in cars, they wouldn't let white people drive that shit. They wouldn't let white people use microwaves and shit like that. They wouldn't let white people use the computer and air conditioning and shit like that. 
white people are different. They allow all the people in the were in the in the area, like everybody got to vote. Just think about it. Everybody can vote. These motherfuckers didn't let people eat sumptuous food unless you was part of the ruling class. They didn't let you wear cotton unless you was part of the ruling class. You know what I'm saying? These people, like native people or uh, POCs, are different, man. White people got a strange culture, man. That's strange, man. You fitness for the role. These noble classes, including priests, were set apart from the masses by laws which restricted the wearing of cotton clothing and jewels, as well as the eating of particular sumptuous foods and the drinking of cocoa, to this class, with violations of these taboos also being punishable by death. At the bottom of the hierarchy were the slaves, typically used as domestic servants or as substitutes for pack animals. Slavery was not hereditary, but was sufficiently widespread that slave traders were among the most prosperous people in the Aztec Empire. Slavery, slave trading, Aztecs, slave trading, big. You didn't know that. They was big on slave trading. Those was the, those was the, those are the Fortune 500 companies over there, man. Slavery. And there was even a specialized occupation of bathing slaves so that they would be made suitable to be human sacrifices. Above all, the Aztec Empire was one in which military prowess was emphasized and glorified. For an Aztec warrior, one of the great prizes of war were the captured enemy warriors who were led back to the capital to be sacrificed by having their hearts cut out of their living bodies on a high altar, while Aztec civilians and foreign emissaries watched as streams of blood poured down the steps of the pyramid from this mass carnage. Rulers and dignitaries from the surrounding peoples, both subjects and independent peoples, were not merely invited but compelled to attend, a decline of the invitation being punishable by death. The no Everything's punishable by death. <laughs> Everything's punishable by death. You see what I'm saying? Like, and, and she's talking about like, well, America was built on violence. I guess if you if you count this shit, if you count this as part of American history, this was definitely built on fucking violence. I mean, I'm more I'm more with the guy. I think they're no better or worse. You know, it's just human nature. You know, but this is obviously more violent than. The, I think uh, white people are better. White people will let you wear cotton. They'll let you eat um popcorn and um cotton candy and shit and steak. Yeah, well, back, back when, <laughs> yeah, but, but back when, when they had like the monarchies, right? They were like serfs and peasants, right? No doubt. Um, no, 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 no doubt. No doubt. I got you on that. that. That's facts. That's facts. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But but what I'm saying is that like the technology like pocs know that technology and joy and happiness and pleasure it ain't just reserved for the ruling class by the in white society it's reserved for the ruling right. classes by money by mm. ability to pay for it and in in poc areas like in africa in pre-colonial africa Man, you ain't eating no motherfucking steak. You ain't enjoying no motherfucking good. Like, yo, that's only for the king. All them barrels of rum that they fucking sold the slaves for, they wasn't just, that was for the king in his court. You you, you can't have that. That's not for you. You ain't can't have none of that. That's, for, that's only for the king. White people let, like, it's a homeless dude right there. Like the next homeless dude you see on the street, you know that dude can vote. He's got one vote just like you. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> His vote is the same as yours. Please take the five dollar challenge. You don't get this history anywhere else on YouTube. I know you don't. You can't even lie. Don't even lie. Don't even say, "Oh, I I went here and the no, no." no. <laughs> you, you know what? I this this pyramid you see here, black folks built it. The yeah, exactly. American Indians. We built it. We we claim we claim y'all pyramids off the false shit that we built those pyramids. That's crazy, ain't it? It's crazy as fuck, to me. Just well, we will. This these pyramids 
that's 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 one that logic that linear logic is 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 a is a, is, a, is a black thing though. Like, hey man, we built the other pyramids. All pyramids over there. We must have been over there yeah. and built them. Like, yo, are you serious? But, but the <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, I, the way you explain that to me kind of put me at ease on it because it makes sense, right? Like, yeah, it makes sense to me that they would want to not not be associated with Africa. You know what I mean? Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. Like these people at least built this shit. Yeah, I was I was arguing with um some nigga on YouTube, bro. He wanted them. Uh, we was the original Native Americans and shit. And I was trying to tell him, bro. I like I hear you. I know y'all got y'all y'all whole tech mythology shit going on, but I know, I know why y'all niggas <laughs> saying this shit, bro. Because Africa <laughs> sucks ass. Is nobody wants to. So to be to, to trace their lineage back to a bunch of motherfuckers that can't build two story buildings and didn't build like anything worth even writing about or even have their own written language. Like I understand, but I'm not here to quote with you, bro. Africa but also, sucks too, did you also gotta tell them that they might not know that that's what they're doing too? Like what, those uh people- coping. Yeah, they don't know that they're doing that. They're just doing it. Like, like they don't know why they're doing. It. They don't know why they're distancing themselves from Africa like that. But, if but they, just, you know what I'm saying. But they would hate to hear that. I, they, if you were to explain what you just said to them, they wouldn't be able to process it. You know what I mean? Like right. they would, they they would think that oh, I again, I hate him so. You know that that would be like their defense mechanism. You know what I mean? Yeah. I seen niggas act like they don't hang with niggas. After, like I seen niggas get a like a, a snitch bone put out there about them, like well, like you know what I'm saying a snitch jacket or something put out about them. And niggas who hung with this dude every day now acting like they ain't never used to hang out with the dude. Mm. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah I know niggas like that too. Every single day, and now all of a sudden you you acting like he's some. You know what I'm saying? He just a regular dude from the neighborhood that just you you know you just oh him oh yeah yeah oh, I remember that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah. because look, bro, yeah. uh, the the the, the, the slave at the Negro classification. The, the reason I heard like the difference is they suck and we don't suck. That's the difference I've heard them say. Yeah, like, the blacks that are pet Africans they suck. Us the American Indians that are black we don't suck. That's what I've heard yeah. you say, Yank. Think about yeah. that. Yeah, it's it's it's. It, I I don't even get into that. I don't argue that with them because yeah. they're, they're that's, that's a important. pretty new philosophy too. Like I was in the conscious community. I grew up in that in the eighties and the nineties. I grew and it was up, pan. You know it was what I'm saying? They wasn't talking about that. That wasn't a philosophy. That was that's a. This is a new. This we was Native Americans and we was here first. We always been here and we not from Africa. And we we've been here. Yeah. That that's the new shit. That they wasn't talking about that in the eighties and the nineties. Right. You, you couldn't know. find nobody talking about that. You, you know what? I I think it it's, it's it was new to that. some. I I think it's obvious I, that those people were I guess what you could say my ancestors. And I love I love this picture I because I guarantee you. Right now, and I guarantee this with the utmost confidence, I right now as we speak, there's an umbrito somewhere in Mexico, uh, kidnapped, getting his heart cut out as we speak. I, I'm not lying, bro. This is what oh, we yeah, do. This is what y'all do. Yeah, exactly. It's it's not, and the white man could give you sewer systems and fios and satellites, um, cable and shit, and power lines, and you still gonna do this shit underneath those power lines. Cause that's uh, what y'all do. I tried to tell him, bro. I don't think you understand, bro. Y'all niggas is, are so whole to that it's like a it's like um it's like a boomerang, bro. It comes back full circle. Like y'all are so whole tapped out, y'all are so pro blacked out that now y'all are actually denying the slave trade, bro. Y'all denying yeah, your Africanness, yeah. bro. They right, tried to say yeah, what happened. Uh, how, what happened to the boats? I heard. I heard several <laughs> niggas say, "If, if we if we slave, what happened to the boats?" 
Right. Why we yeah. ain't seen no boats? And it's like, well, first, like, have you like, uh, like, boats? Like, have you been to the docks looking for boats, or have you been like, like, things like, like, this boat just go sit in your yeah. front yard? Like, what the fuck <laughs> you talking about where the boats at? Nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> right. You, and you know what's another crazy one? I like, look, I think it's pretty obvious, right? And it's just my observation, right? Some of the more pure, like, non mixed. On burritos are like in Central America, Guatemala, right? Those men are like four feet tall. Yeah, the brothers ain't no four feet tall. Either. The brothers are like six nah. feet kind of damn. Brothers, are, that 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 is another thing that I always said was so stupid. Like, you don't share any phenotypical thing with them. Like nothing. Like their hair is bone straight. Like native, like the 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 Indians, the, as we would call them. You know. The Aztecs or whatever, they got like you can count the hairs in their head. Blacks, you can't, man. We got so many hairs in our head, you can't even count them, let alone that they nappy and kiki and coily and there's a bone straight. But the, you can't even count the hairs in a black person's head. You can literally count the hairs in the on Brito's head. If he's pure blood. If yeah. he got, you know, a, if he if he's like, you know, what I'm saying, at least fifty percent, that shit just go poof, right? Whereas, it, where you you talked about how you were with with Central Americans for a while, right? Yes, those, those men are the, short. They're short, they're and they're short. their work ethic is natural. It ain't like a right. teaching thing. It's not like bring all the young boys together and we're going to teach them how to have work ethic. No, that motherfuckers just like that. No, no, look like, at this shit. Look at this. Yeah. They built the a bunch of these with no yeah. wheel. With no wheel. Salute to um salute to um Cash Cow. He says, I heard Ghana used to a human sacrifice when Ashanti Kings died. British abolished that three-dimensional thought is hard for Sunman. It's impossible for Sunman. Aries from the surrounding peoples, both subjects and independent peoples were not merely invited, but compelled to attend, a decline of the invitation being punishable by death. The number of people sacrificed on the altars of the various pyramids has been a matter of dispute among scholars, but the competing estimates are in the tens of thousands. The particular Aztec warrior who had captured an enemy was not only allowed the honor of cutting his heart out, but was also awarded an arm or thigh to take home and cook for a ceremonial meal for his family. The purpose of this was not to provide food, but to fulfill cultural and religious purposes, just as the purpose of the public sacrifice was to propitiate the gods and to inure the Aztec people in general to blood and carnage. For the conquered peoples, their ordeal began immediately after conquest. When the Aztecs conquered the Mixtecs, their ruler was killed and his family enslaved. Then their chiefs, who submitted to Aztec rule, had to attend a victory banquet at which the Aztecs boasted of their feats and hurled humiliating insults at the vanquished. Thereafter, tribute in kind and in labor had to be paid to the Aztecs. This tribute sometimes included children to be sacrificed on the altars. Many conquered peoples were reduced to being serfs tied to land controlled by their Aztec overlords. An even worse fate could await conquered areas that later rebelled, which could lead to a wholesale slaughter of the population. Wanton brutality was not the whole story, however. The Aztecs, like such other conquerors as the Mongols, used terror as a weapon to demoralize their enemies and keep the subjugated peoples in line. Aztec leaders were often shrewdly scheming politicians, both in dealing with external peoples or with various rivals and allies within the empire. Researchers have uncovered a vast collection of human skulls beneath modern Mexico City in an area that was once the epicenter of the Aztec Empire. In 2015, the team discovered and began excavating the remains of the Tompatli, an enormous rack of skulls in front of the Templo Mayor, which is flanked by two towers of skull and mortar. Both are believed to be part of human sacrifice rituals. After taking out the tribute's beating heart, priests decapitate the body, reduce it to a skull, and carve holes into the side to mount the skulls on wooden poles. 75% of the skulls found at the site belonged to warriors, men aged 20 to 35. 
but 20% were found to be from women and 5% were of children. So most of the sacrificed people was men, of course. <laughs> um, Kill the men, take the bitches. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the facts. Facts. Um, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, man. Um, so, yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's her name? What's that girl's name? Uh, what's her name? Where's she at, man? Where this girl at, man? Um, Talking about the lighter chick? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. I like how they just never remember history unless it's slavery. And colonization. That's what I don't like, bro. Yeah. Like, is all, all these people, yeah. Is it you gonna constantly bring up history? Like bring up all history, bro. Not just the ones where y'all trying to like dunk on fire and say they're so evil and shit. Yeah, and, and it's white women doing it, and white women don't understand, man, that like yo, you would not want to be part of them societies, man. Um you got it. You got it good here, man. Sulu the default name. Default name, man. He says, didn't realize how effed up our youth is until I saw how many reacted to a basic college lecture on the Pico Mohegan War of 1630s. Look into it. The Pico Mohegan War. When, um, yeah, go on. I'm confused by uh. What was the reaction that made him realize how fucked up they were? What do you mean? Yeah, that's kind of vague. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't, yeah, what do you, I'm trying to figure out what, you, what you're talking about. Like, uh, was they, they was appalled by the book, The Savagery? Cause I know the savagery with those wars would have been insane. But there was no what she's saying, Yeah, go ahead. I think what she's saying is you really have to dig into the true American history. Not not from what you're being fed, but take a trip. Take a trip to DC and go back go to the Library of Congress me when I tell you, you'll find out some information that will blow your mind. Yeah. Doug Chunks, what's happening, man? What's up, Doug? What's your thoughts on this, man? I know you... Hey, want... uh, oh, well, this, this stupid bitch, my, my problem is she, she repeats what all the uh, the lefties want to say, and that is that uh, all the uh, atrocities of humanity are mostly relegated to uh, white Western culture, and... Um, yeah. Yeah, and then when they White talk man. about yeah, yeah, exactly. Thanks, Wicked. And and then she talks about um, you know that bullshit about uh, how we're the ones that want to take over countries and do this and but the the left always does that and it pisses me off because none of us have ever voted on that fucking shit. That is that's that's the deep state, you know, people that are running the military and making money off of it. None of us want to do these bullshit coups in South America and Eastern Europe. Um, but but they want to say it's the U.S. all the time. You know, yeah, it's happening, and it's it's our tax money going to that. But uh, it's not like we, you know, nobody wants to do it. And that's of course why they went as far as they did with Trump a few days ago because he is on our side of hey, we we are done with this bullshit. Yeah. Um, Facts. I think. Yeah. I I think I think Trump is um. I'm a flat earther, so I got a lot of issues with him being NASA. I'll, I'll um, talk to you about that yeah. sometime. Oh, yeah, yeah, but my, but my, sister, that, my sister, yeah. my sister went to Caltech, and so I'm, I, I, I've got you know inside info on a jet propulsion lab. So, okay, yeah, I, I, I have, I, I have my disagreement. Email, so email me, email yeah, me. Yeah, I've, I've even argued with her about uh, the moon landing because I say, look, yeah. I'm not saying it didn't happen. 
but the 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 way you know the way it's been framed and the bullshit afterwards i said that makes it awfully suspicious that there's some bullshit government i'm saying it didn't happen i'm saying you can't get to you can't get to the moon on a cadillac brown man well, and you can't you can't call <laughs> the president you can't call the president and have a uh, un, a, I agree. Un, a conversation with the president from the moon like i agree they did. In 1960, yeah. Yeah. So you're saying yeah. you say Stanley Kubert, Stanley Kubert uh, directed a good uh, sequel because that's that's what they're saying. The yes, camera sir. angles. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, damn. Yeah, I'm saying they can send an inanimate object there, but they can't send a. Nah, I'm uh, saying they can't. I can't I'm they can't they send, send a biological there. matter there. Is what I think. I'm right saying now. they can't send nothing there. They don't even know what it is. I'm saying they don't even know what that thing is up there, man. They don't know what none of that stuff is up there. Yeah. Um, and, and they definitely didn't know in 1969. <laughs> right, do you think uh do you think like uh space is fake and all that shit? Yeah, space is definitely fake, man. Space is right. listen, yeah, it's not if what we you live think on it a, is. if we live in a flat earth, like this, I believe I just believe we live in a puddle. In the middle of an ice sheet, a huge, I don't I can't explain it. Like, for mm. instance, I don't know, I don't think I know everything, but I know that we're living in a puddle in the middle of an ice sheet. So how do we fly? And, and, how do we fly around the globe then? We just fly straight. Like pilots hey, never talk hey, about flying hey, around hey, the globe. I think you, hey, I think what you're saying is like it's, it's an infinite plane of existence. Yeah, exactly. And we're just a puddle. Carved out by the moon and the sun, rotate. Hey, 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 listen, hey, uh, I, I'll get into all that stuff later. On. Good. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I I, I watch a, a a YouTube. Uh, it's a pilot guy. I forget what who he flies for, but mm. he he addressed the flat Earth thing and you know the arg the the biggest arguments about it. And he said, "Look, there's enough of you flat Earthers out there. If you pull up enough money, we we my airline has agreed to let me fly you from." Uh, South America to Australia, and he said you can all bring your phones and you can communicate with your friends and family on the ground, and you will watch that we will leave South America at X time, and we will be in Australia in nine hours. He said you can on the flat Earther map. There's absolute impossibility to cover that distance in nine hours, but he said I will do it just to dispel all of this. So why do you have to pay him to do that? Like why does no no you, you gotta you you gotta you gotta pay for the the cost of the fuel plus you're you're renting a, a well, you know how come they don't just have jet. flight why don't they just have that flight available? Because there's how many people do you think want to leave South America to go to Australia? <laughs> That's my point exactly. That type of logic. That, no, but I'm, no, I'm I'm you don't saying, have a flight from South America to Australia because nobody wants. People want to go to Guam. People want to go everywhere, man. I, I I live in fucking Pennsylvania, man. Small town. We got an airport here that get got direct flights that fucking everywhere. So, so in the fucking uh, world. Uh, for decades they had flights over the North Pole. Well, of course that that works for flat Earth um, <laughs> arg argument. Yeah, I get it. But but I mean, yeah. So why don't the flat Earthers do it then? Right? Why don't they? Actually, that's what, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's you not like they're not a can't do yes, it. The, can. the, the, the plane, the airlines can't do it. The airlines can't no, that, do it. no, that, that they're just not interested because that's why you have connected flights when you go overseas. You can't well, just fly directly. And trust me, here, I've traveled all over the world. And sure, but but here's the thing about flying at the end of the day. They'd like if, if there's a problem with the aircraft, they'd like a place to put it down I that people can be rescued. That's yeah, the bottom well, line. It, it's so difficult. Like everything's so, you know what I'm saying? Everything's so difficult and like it's so hard and everything. You know what I'm saying, Paul? Everything's so. It's always an excuse, right? Yeah, it's always like you know you can't do it. Like why why can't we go back to the moon? Well, we can't go back to the moon because we're not. Yeah, no, I it's see like, that's that's an argument I'm way more on on board with you on. But as far always as always, some reason why they can't do it, and yeah. they did it back in 1969. Look, they can't this, do it in 2020. <laughs> so, so Ak, I put this my main this my main question: How why are we so worried about space 
when we haven't even explored every inch of this this so-called globe yet. I, I think yeah, that's a valid the argument. Bottom of the ocean. I, I, I think that I think that's a super valid argument, but I think there's just so much interest in it. That's why it's happening. But yeah, I think it's being the, the whole NASA program, I think is another uh, money con job. I think it's just misappropriating funds. I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, anyways, Ak, I put a, that article in the back chat that I was referring to yesterday about yeah. the, the the shooting here in Anchorage, uh, less than a mile from my store. Oh, there was a shooting in Anchorage. Oh yeah, uh, let another me show one. You this. Let me let, let me just show you this um, to show you like what like how not insane the flat Earth is, right? <laughs> like like hey, think hey, about real, it. Like, real quick, real quick. Let, let let me hit you with this because. When you were talking about the shooter thing in um with uh Trump, did you guys hear about how they so called found a uh an additional shooter on top of the water tower? I haven't nah, heard that I yet. About that. I haven't heard nothing about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, check into it. They said it was an additional shooter on top of that water tower. Check this out though. This is this is the sun. Like the sun is not eight gazillion billion trillion miles away. It's not eight thousand times just the size of the. It's what it looks like. It's where it is. It's what it looks like. It's right there. And when I mean right there, I don't mean like, you know, like you would touch it or nothing, or you would fly to it. But it's 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 right there. It ain't eight gazillion. We're not on a ball. This is this is all ice. Everything out here is ice. And I think there are other. Earths, hey, hey other Oc. puddles in the ice sheet. Hey, Oc, does does the sun right. produce heat? Does the sun produce heat? Does the sun produce heat? I, I mean, yeah. obviously, if it's if, if, obviously. Okay, so my question is, what powers the sun if it's not? Uh, you know, where does the sun get the energy well, to produce well, the we heat? Well, we not understand everything. Like, I I don't understand everything. I don't I don't know everything. See, that's the thing about the 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 the, the globe people, they know everything. I don't know everything. This shit is this shit is hard to explain. Look, look, and look at it like this. Think about think about the way the world is. It makes sense that this is the way the world is too, because think about it. We can the North Pole, you're always going to the North Pole. The South Pole, you never get to go to the South Pole. They never talk about the South Pole. Never talk about the South Pole. Always talk about the North Pole. These people in Australia, they were isolated for a gazillion years. The um, Aborigines, look how isolated they were for a gazillion years because they're literally down under. Like, they call this shit down under because it's so far away from everything else. But on the map, it looked like it's close. Look at... Look at um, Look at um the where the deserts are. Look at where all the deserts are. The 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 Mugabe Desert. The deserts are everywhere the sun the sun turns. There's Australia no has massive here. desert. Australia has massive frozen. desert. Yeah, Australia. but look where it's frozen. Hold on. Look where it's frozen, and look where it's no desert. I mean, look where it's desert. So it's frozen here, far away from the sun. It's frozen here, far away from the sun. It's deserts here, the Sahara Desert. Look at the I, Amazon I, rainforest. The Amazon I, rainforest I, is south of where the, the sun. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm, I'm fuzzy on the, the, the this particular uh, graphic you're showing because that is not the all the time rotation of the sun and the moon by a lot. No, but it's, sometimes it goes in the Capricorn. This is the Tropic of, of Cancer, I think. And, it, and, okay. and this is and when it, and then it goes wider in the tropical Capricorn. Listen, me explaining this to you is like a novice. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would suggest you go to Jernism or Witsit, Witsit, W I T S I T, Witsit gets it or Jernism. Those are two people that like those white boys. They discuss this on levels that my son man brain ain't equipped to man um Ak, you ever watch bet pat patrick uh davidson 
<laughs> yeah, I know him. He's not. He's yeah. not. Um, he, yeah, he's he had not, a flat he earther. Know. He had a flat earther yeah. on it, and and he was. It was almost embarrassing how the guy was trying to explain it. Yeah. Um, shout out to Flashy Finance. He says, shout out to my Lord Biden's son and all this. <laughs> ain't, nice. ain't too many of them, man. Ain't too many, bro. Nah, nah, man. Um, <laughs> salute the product of Cook County, man. Um, but yeah, this is salute. this is this is this is the um and, and the firmament in the Bible. That's part of it. There's a firmament. Like you can't go out, like we're we're enclosed. We're enclosed, man. There's a firmament over us. I can't explain what it is. They can't explain what it is. Oh, so they I, came I, up I, with this stupid globe shit. Are you believe in the Bible? No, I don't believe in, in everything in the Bible, but I believe that there's, there's, there's some knowledge in the Bible. I believe in um from um, um the, the uh the Psalms and the um what's this shit called? The um uh not the um what are those, those little sayings those sayings God, they call them the proverbs 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 yeah I believe in proverbs proverbs is, is, is definitely real man proverbs is that knowledge is human nature proverbs is human nature yeah proverbs is just is just human nature it, it's gonna be the same way regardless you know what I'm saying um but you don't believe in like Jesus and I mean, and shit I mean, out of, of a person rising from the dead, I mean, like, that's not likely. You know what I'm saying? It's not likely. But I do believe that, you know, that there were people back then that, you know, were going around preaching and going railing against, you know, whoever was, was the in charge at the time. The chicken spit out yeah. the bones. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But but I mean, and I'm and I'm not and I'm not like against Jesus. I'm not like against people who, who believe that. I just think that like I don't know everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't know everything, and that's the thing. And that, if that, you, that, treat, that, if you, you know, truly read the Bible, you'll find out there there was more than one Jesus. Yeah, probably so. Yeah, because Jesus could have just been a name like. A priest like a rabbi or 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 a preacher it could have been a name we don't know what so much stuff is lost in translation we don't know what nothing they meant they were saying back then that you know it could have been like um, jesus could jesus could have been like a group like dave matthews band it could have been like yo that's jesus over there and it was like yeah. 18 18 arabs and shit looking like fucking uh I don't know, looking like uh, Osama bin Laden, but but with a baby. We don't know who lived in these places either at these times. We don't know how long ago they were. Like Jesus' time could have been thirty thousand years ago instead of two thousand years ago, or could have been a hundred years. I mean, five hundred years ago. We don't like when they be saying years. Yeah, think about it. They'll be like such and such happened in twenty seven A.D. and it's like how the fuck do you know how the fuck y'all know what happened on this date 2000 years ago who's right, keeping all this shit together right, right just how they playing games with us now with this this so called uh what is it uh um what's the guy's name the mandela effect things that i remember verbatim like i know happened cuz you know i'm no young boy i'm 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 52 years old and a lot of these things that I've seen happen, happen, and now they're coming around saying, oh, well, this just happened yesterday. Prime example, Dr. Ruth, uh, Richard Simmons, all, all of this shit. Like they, what about like Dr. They, Ruth? They, what about they Dr. say she just passed away. Okay. Do you think and they said Richard cool Simmons or? just passed away. And Bob Like Newhart. they've been passed away. Bob Newhart just passed away today, right? Yep. And like, look at these dates. It's like they all correlating day after day after day. Like, come on. Yeah, um, I don't want to get too spooky on it, but um, let's let me. I gotta get to this main story, man. Um, back to the fuckery. Let me, yeah, yeah, let's yeah, get back yeah, to the fuckery. <laughs> Jesus, was, Jesus was black. 
if if he existed. He looked like uh Shabba Ranks. Let's just say he was melanated. He wasn't black, he was melanated. Yeah, like how, how do we know that? How do you know that? Like, like why you even gotta say that? Like, how do you know he wasn't white as snow? Like, no one. Like, how do you know? Because for real, for real. part of the world, because the part of the world he lived in. Well, look, let me tell you something, man. Um, th- two thousand years ago, the Sahara Desert was like twenty percent of the size it was is it? now. Right, and, and some of it was jungle. Am I correct? All that, everything else was jungle. It was all jungle until it, but it's grown in our lifetime. It's our desert. Like this whole thing that, like, you don't know. It's good not to know because that way you can learn. You can learn not knowing. You know what I'm saying? You can learn a lot by not knowing a lot. But by knowing a lot, you close down your ability to learn because you know everything. That's why I, I, there you go. I I know I I I'm guilty of both, man. Certain subjects I'd be I I'd be like I know so much about, and it closes down my ability to learn because I I know and I already know man I know I know, but you never know. Yeah, my mom said a saying: you have to unlearn to relearn. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be humble. You gotta, you gotta, this morning, you gotta, we have new information on the bicyclist killed by a speeding driver near Rittenhouse House Square last night. Yeah, so tragic. Action News has learned Ooh. this victim is a 30-year-old woman who was a resident at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. She was struck and killed while riding in the bike lane at 18th and Spruce Streets. Action News reporter Corey Davis joins us there live with more on what we're learning about the victim and the investigation. Corey, the witnesses just traumatized by this incident. Good morning. Yeah, it was traumatic for them. So I'm finding out from the victim's family as well as police that her name was Barbara Freeds. We're being told by her brother that she was an oncology resident over at CHOP. She helped children, treated children who have cancer. And her brother telling us that he flew from Colorado overnight after he heard about what happened to her. And he came out here straight to the scene trying to make sense of it all. These are new photos of 30-year-old Barbara Freeds during some of her happiest moments. Her family tells us she was the person hit and killed while riding her bicycle in Rittenhouse Square. Her brother says she was a third-year oncology resident at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, where she treated some of the sickest of patients, children with cancer. Police say a 68-year-old driver ran over plastic pole dividers and crossed into the bike lane at 18th and Spruce Street at around 7.30 last night. He then struck Freeds, who was wearing a helmet, riding in the bike lane, launching her several feet. I saw the biker fly, um, and then from there, the car also crashed into the right side of the, the, the road and um, made a little 180, and I think both people were um, unconscious at the end of it. Police say the driver slammed into three parked cars after striking Freeds. Officers performed CPR on her, but say she died a short time later at the hospital from severe head injuries. Several bystanders in this area say they were deeply shaken by what they saw. My first instinct um, was to rush and, and try and help her, but I didn't, I'm not, you know, I didn't know medically, you know, I didn't want to hurt her. To see like a high speed collision with a cyclist, like this is like my deepest fear. Police tell us they're working to determine why the driver crossed into the bike lane. I don't know if he had maybe some kind of seizure, but nothing, none of that's confirmed. I don't know exactly why, but they did say he was talking about the hospital, the gentleman, the elderly gentleman driving the vehicle. And Freed's brother also says she had a husband. He describes her as smart. He says she was kind hearted and a very giving person. That was RIP to this lady, man. This lady um, worked with cancer patients. She was a, a great asset to the community, man. And she got taken out by a fucking um, just a freak accident, man. I mean, a freak accident, man. Um, riding her bike, you know what I'm saying? Just she did everything right, man. You know what I'm saying? She um she did she everything showed, right. Showed, she yeah, showed away to, the, to Iowa. Yeah, man. <laughs> 
Um, are you trying to say that it was a it was a black person that ran her down? Nah, I think it could have been a glider. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who did it. But this is this is just this 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 was this this touched me today, man, because I was like, damn, so sad, man. This woman Yeah, um, me too. Yeah. She was a she was an asset to the community. We are continuing to follow the tragic news of Barbara Friedis, the physician at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, worked in the oncology department. She was struck and killed in Rittenhouse Square while riding her bike. Her brother tells CBS Philadelphia the family is in total disbelief. Josh Sanders has our coverage tonight. Family and friends of 30-year-old Barbara Friedis remain in shock after Philadelphia police say the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia physician was struck and killed by a driver in Rittenhouse Square around 7 o'clock Wednesday night as she was riding her bike in a designated lane at 18th and Spruce Streets. In a statement, Chop says in part, she was loved by so many and embodied kindness, strength, and a deep compassion for all who crossed her path. Avis Chen Bolter's daughter worked with Friedis at the hospital, where she was a chief resident treating patients with cancer. She was very accomplished. She did a lot, helped a lot of people, and um, she had a lot more to give. Investigators say the 68-year-old driver swerved into the bike lane, striking Friedis and then hitting several other cars. Her death marks the first cyclist killed in the city so far this year. When something like this happens, you just can't help but think about a everyone you know that is in a similar situation that uses his bike lane frequently. Kara Lyons says her husband also rides his bike to work. I tell him all the time that, you know, please be careful when you're out here, but this wasn't a case where him being careful or Barbara being helpful or careful rather would have made much of a difference. In a statement to CBS Philadelphia, the Bike Coalition of Greater Philadelphia says in part, concrete barriers to the bike lanes on both Spruce and Allegheny would have offered protection from these reckless drivers. And the bike... Yeah, but can you do bike lanes in Philly when the streets are already so fucking narrow? Like in D.C., they've done that. And the streets, like, can barely, you know, hold it. Like the side streets, what you could used to be, they got to make a lot of the side street one ways because the bike lanes. And, um, the main avenues or the main thoroughfares or the two two lane streets, it messes up parking. You know what I'm saying? Um, these bike lanes, and you never see anybody in a fucking bike lane. You could drive around all fucking day and rarely see anybody drive ride in the bike lane. It's a lot for a very small group of people and I know they thought going green and all that stuff was going to make more people I get what they was thinking they were thinking short side they said more people are going to ride bikes and it's going to be less pollution in the city and less cars we want to make um we want to uh, make less cars in the city because the cities are getting too um there's too many cars in the city but listen man that sounds good but when and people probably told them, yeah, man, put bike lanes everywhere, man, and we'll ride our bikes. And at the end of the day, man, people just want to get in their fucking car and go, man. Most of us, man. The majority of us just want to get in our fucking car and go. So you've made bike lanes everywhere in D.C. I'm talking about everywhere. And it's done nothing but clog up the city and make traffic and make part of the park. And it's fucked up everything it's been a terrible fuck it's been a disaster i don't know what do you guys how do, how's it affecting philly you guys that are in philly i mean it's def they're definitely making it more difficult there i i'm pretty sure it's not like you guys yet because most of the streets are uh, like they're still regular but downtown they're trying to like really turn all this shit into some bike friendly shit but 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 there's barely any niggas on bikes for real. Yeah, well, it's center not city. Yeah, it's not for us. Center city. Center city's trying to be like Manhattan, so they're trying. Yeah, bike lanes ain't for brothers, man. Bike lanes is definitely not for brothers. Going to ride their bike on the sidewalk still, 
they're gonna ride in the street. We yeah. we're not gonna be bound by the bike lane. I've never seen a brother riding his bike in the bike lane. Yeah, niggas don't niggas don't ride and bike even when it's a bike lane right there, they still ride next to the bike lane in the sidewalk or in the yeah. right in the middle of the street, bro. Yeah, so it's like it's like that that was made for for for, for white people and they not using it like that. Yeah, they, but, um, I don't this, think they're using enough to to warrant a whole exactly. fucking lane, bro. Like, god damn. Yeah, the population of bike riders in the, in the, in cities is is small, and I'm and I'm sure they told them that like, yeah, it's gonna be some think group, some some um focus group got together, or they probably surveyed, they probably did their research, and people were like, yeah, yeah, if there were bike lanes, yeah, I would. I would ditch my car and get get a bike. Ryan, and... Ryan like a motherfucker. Yeah, nah, man, ain't nobody doing that shit. That sound good. It's like the right thing to say and shit. Yeah. But give up my car, like nah, man, nah, man. I'm, I'm, I got, I got, I'm trying to go to McDonald's, man, and get some fucking get dinner for the kids. I'm, I'm riding my bike down to fucking McDonald's, man. Fucking <laughs> get in the car, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah, and and a lot of these gliders that that ride their bikes, they 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 live downtown and they work downtown. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. they can like, yeah, but like, it just it it, it it was salute to her, man. She 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 was with it. She was about that bike life, that real bike. Like, Brenna, everyone I've talked to this morning is still in shock. You can see people are now adding flowers here to this growing memorial in Barbara's honor. Her family told me she was the best of the best. They say the 30-year-old 30, the 30 worked with pediatric cancer patients at CHOP. In fact, she was just named chief resident there. She loved riding her bike, they say. She was riding it here in the bike lane last night when she tragically lost her life, hit by a speeding car. Damn, who you think hit her? sound like gunshots. Turn my head, I heard a crash. I think it was a sun man. This is I a hope very not. white area. So this, look at everybody they're interviewing is white down here. This is a very white area of Philly. So so that's why I say it could have been a glider. Yeah, it, it's sad, know, man. It's why she driving? Gone. Why she driving? Uh, why was she riding a bike late night? Seven o'clock. Ain't late. Nah, in the summertime, this this still bright as shit outside, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah she, she, she ain't if, do nothing wrong. She just got a bad raw deal, man. That's all. If if you ask me, I mean, it's still niggas. It's still gonna be mad niggas commuting this shit. Cause it's like this is downtown, right? Well, where they said it was it. I think they said. Oh, uh, so it's, yeah, it's it's mad niggas still like running around here, so. You know, I'm going to bet on black. Probably going to be right. <laughs> bet on Saw black. The crash. Witnesses described a tragic scene. Police said the woman who was wearing her helmet and was riding in the bike lane was thrown at least 20 feet. Wearing her helmet and in the bike lane. Doing everything right. It's just emotional to see something like that. Um, Being it's a really sad citizen. just to know that somebody went on a bike ride and she's not coming home. Family members identified the 30-year-old cyclist as Barbara Freeds, a wife, daughter, sister, and aunt. She moved to Philadelphia to work at CHOP, passionate about helping and giving to others. These candles and flowers now sit by the crash scene, remembering someone who was smart, had the kindest heart, and will be deeply missed. Moments ago, CHOP said in a statement, Barbara was a beacon of light. They say this morning the CHOP community is in mourning following her tragic loss, keeping her family, friends, and loved ones in their hearts. Mm. Wow. Yo, you know she mm. was a model citizen, probably never yeah. committed a crime. Probably, like, just probably was, you know, uh, just a, a, a productive... Taxpayer? Her yeah, taxes man. was 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 she was probably she was probably ahead on her taxes. She probably paid <laughs> paid them shits forward. Like here, here goes some extra shit so then for next year. This bitch, this bitch was fucking helping niggas out as far as their health. This might have been a volunteer or some shit. Like, come on, man, yeah. y'all gotta if y'all if, 
when I hear stories like this, I don't, I want to I want to see a goddamn crunchy ass fucking nigga that's that's getting hit, bro. I, I want to see this fucking glider queen getting 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 ran over, bro. Yo, run these run these niggas over, dog. Here we go, though. Another another baby in Blackistan hit with a straight bullet. Porter Leland Pinder live. Seven-month-old boy recovering tonight. This after he was shot in Philadelphia's Holmesburg neighborhood. This happening just before 6 p.m. Along the 4,000 block of Meridian Street. Police saying a stray bullet hit the baby's leg. Action News reporter Liam Pinder, live for us outside police headquarters in Lenin. Uh, we've learned that this crime was actually captured on surveillance. It was great. The video is quite dramatic. You'll see it in a second. But again, thankfully, that seven-month-old baby will survive being shot. Like you said, police said he was hit in the leg. Just heard three shots. That was it. Just heard three shots. A seven-month-old boy is in the hospital after being shot in northeast Philadelphia. We paused this frightening video showing a person walk up and open fire on the toddler and his parents in the 4000 block of Meridian Street. This is and we gotta hear about, you got to hear about fucking Caitlin Clark fans and shit online and shit. Denounce your fans and their racist things online and Trump, MAGA and all this. You niggas always worried about the wrong thing. This is what you niggas need to be worried mm -hmm. about. Somebody will walk up and shoot that and shit. Listen, my homie, he was... I don't know if he had beef with the guys or whatever, but something happened. I, I don't know the extent of it, but he was with his baby mother, right? And some dudes he had beef with rolled up on him, pulled up in front. They on the corner about to cross the street. They pulled up in front of him. He was so shook that he hauled ass and left his baby and his baby mother right there. He hauled ass, right? They didn't chase him. They stood there, cussed his baby mother out, told her that we're going to kill that bitch ass thing when we see him and shit. And then they chased him. But then he he ran and shit, blah, blah, blah. He got away and whatnot. But it's like he left his, like, that fear when niggas roll up, you could say what you want to say. You want what you going to do. But you never know, man. You never know when niggas pull up. You never know if your feet not just going to take you away. You know what I'm saying? Your feet just going to start running. You know what I'm saying? Or you going to stand there like, I'm defending my, you know what I'm saying, family or something, whatever. But it's just weird, man. It's, 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 I've, seen, I've seen this, man. I've, I've, I mean, I've, I've, I've known niggas that this has happened to, man. Where they just with their kids and the, and the niggas roll up. It's like it's us up. He like that man. Blackistan is like that man. That's why if you got if you got beef, like we was talking about the the rapper the other day hanging out with her grandmother. You know, if you got beef like that man, with some black people. And you know how black people are, they 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 never forget, man. They they, they you know it's always up. Uh, yeah, they, they 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 don't even gotta be looking for you that day, they could just see you. Oh shit, they go that nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's how it usually is. It ain't even like they running around hunting for you. It's just like, oh shit, they go that bitch ass nigga that was talking shit right there. Like um, what's that poetic justice? <laughs> poetic justice. Oh, they go that bitch ass nigga that was talking shit. And it's like, um, yeah, man. And you have to understand, if them niggas see you and don't do nothing to their pussy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. To each other. To each other. Like, like if it's two of them, now if he by himself, you might have a chance because he, he, you know what I'm saying? But if it's, if it's two of them or more, yep. yeah. If it's multiple mm -hmm. niggas that all know what's going on, that nigga over there, and you, he yeah. sees you, 
and doesn't do anything, his reputation just exponentially exponentially uh, diminished in all of their eyes, bro. Because if what? he because he told them, "Yo, I don't like this nigga. Yo, if I yeah. see this nigga, something's going to happen to him, bro." And he didn't yeah. do it, bro. That nigga's a pussy, man, bro. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. That's facts. That is facts. That is that is definitely facts. And and when you and when and when you see the nigga like, and your homie see him, they they kind of like want to do something to him, just because you hang with us and him, him. Whatever he did, he did that to somebody we hang with. So it's like yeah. it's more pressure from that. And we're like yo. We want to get that nigga too. So what's up? And you like, nah, man. Let him live. He with his kids, and it's like, yeah. If you, if you was some you niggas, slide if you was with your kids, <laughs> yeah, man. If you with some niggas that's about it, them niggas gonna be, and they see him before you see him, nigga. They it's gonna be like they got 